Hey, so today I'm going to do a review of the uh, LG G3 phone. As you guys can see the phone. I actually have a case on right now um, on the phone here. So, you know, that's why you probably can't see. And as soon as you open the phone, you know, it just lights up automatically. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a review real quick and just kind of tell you my thoughts you know some of the good things some of the bad things that i found about the phone uh, you know I, i've used different phones in the past and uh i like you know using smartphones i'm very fascinated with the smartphones you know like as to how many things they have replaced in our lives and and you know how convenient they have made our life become now and 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 stuff so uh you know i'm looking for that perfect smartphone i used to use an iphone 4 but then because of the size being so small i kind of moved on to different phones i used htc one x i have used nokia lumia 920 then i use samsung galaxy s4 i have used uh samsung tvs you know i've used iphone 5s i have used lg g3 then i use nokia 1520 so i have used a lot of different phones over the time and uh, you know just so here's now my turn turn to you know review the lg g3 so far i'm very very impressed it's a great great phone um i'm i'm like i said i'm really impressed with the phone with the effort that you know lg has put through i think what lg has also uh, it isn't also in their favor is because they have designed phones for Google, so they know, you know, what the what at least from the hardware perspective, you know, what they need um, for a good phone to, to be, you know, made out of. So, hardware-wise, they've totally nailed it. I mean, I love the build quality of the phone. This is a gold edition, so I absolutely love the the color of the phone, and I love that you know how you double tap the screen and then it turns off, and then you know when you double tap it, it, it you know it turns back on so uh, let me just take the phone out of the um, this cover right now so I can talk more about this and like I said I'm gonna talk about some good stuff and then I'll cover some bad stuff as well so a good good stuff about this phone the better quality I love the phones that have removable back I love I love it why because you don't need to worry about charging battery then you know, all you gotta do is just switch the battery, you good to go. Like, let's say if I'm flying one day, you know, or I'm going on a road trip, all I need to do is take the rechargeable battery with me. When the battery dies, snap the cover off, put the new battery in, I'm good to go. I don't need to like, you know, um, you know, charge the phone for like two hours or something, some crazy like that, you know. And I can still use the phone pretty heavily. Uh, so yeah, I love the bird quality. Uh, you know, even though it's plastic, it looks metal. And it's light it's not that heavy the only thing is that I don't like about this phone is that it's kind of slippery when I hold the phone it just slides in my hand like it seems like it's gonna I'm gonna drop it so that's one thing you know I don't really appreciate is it's being slippery but that's why I bought the you know the window case uh, from Best Buy paid 50 bucks for this sucker but it was worth it so yeah the build quality of the phone is totally awesome the you know it looks like a metal back even though it's not it doesn't feel like plastic it doesn't look plastic that's all that matters and as soon as you take the back off you know um you can like i said you can switch the battery you could pop a sim card in i'm uh, sorry micro sd card and you can uh, you know increase the increase the storage space and there's the there's the battery there too you can swap that as well there's the slim slot, uh, SIM card slot, and then there's micro SD slot, and the buttons at the back. I I'm, I like the buttons at the back. You know, it makes it makes sense. It kind of gets time to get used to it, but still, I'm very impressed. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm very impressed with the the back back buttons. They seem really really good. I mean, the the feedback is awesome. Very high quality. Uh, my thing is when i use the samsung phones i didn't like their build quality at all they're, they use cheap material the plastic they're just no I, I don't like samsung at all i have used samsung in the past their phones are really light but at the same time i don't understand how it justifies that they're charging you know there's 600 dollars for a phone when 
the bird quality is literally like a um, you know two hundred dollar phone, not even um, because their phones are cheap. I when I had the Galaxy S4, I kept the phone on the you know on side of me while I was sleeping, and I literally slept on the phone by mistake. And I heard something you know squeaking and stuff, and I woke up and I realized that you know I was actually sleeping on the phone by mistake, and I had literally broke my phone in half, you know. And you would never have that sort of problem with the iPhone 5 or, um, you know, LG G3. These phones are solidly built. That's what you want. You know, you want the phones to be, um, you know, durable and, and really, good, really good quality phones. So uh, another thing I love about this phone is like, look at the front of the screen. Even though it's five and a half inches, it doesn't feel like five and a half inches. And it's you hold the phone and you still like my thumb can pretty much reach all across. It's a one handed phone. Really? Trust me on that. I had a, I used Galaxy Note 3 for a little bit. It only has 0.2 inches extra. Uh, I mean, it's 5.7 inches, inches, but the phone is massive, and you cannot use that phone in one hand. I did not like that. I, uh, you know, I would be sitting in, like, team meetings and stuff, and I couldn't use the phone because I was like, you know what, it was literally, it was taken out. I felt like taking out a computer, a giant computer, you know. I couldn't text any, anybody back. And felt very uncomfortable and uh, even using at work because I felt like I was using something other than a phone like a tablet pretty much but this even with the big giant screen it still seems like a phone you know still pretty much a phone I love the phone the size of the phone uh, gold edition like I said I love the gold color uh, so yeah I love the color I love the removal black love the bird quality love the screen size camera camera is really really good on this thing it has optical image stabilization it has a killer camera. Uh, I would say that it, it even beats the iPhone 5S camera or any of the cameras that I've used in the past. Um, I have taken some low light pictures and you know they didn't come out that good. But my my mistake was that I hadn't turned the flash on. And when I turned the flash on, pictures were really nice too. Uh, one of the best camera phones I have ever used. Like awesome camera phone. Um, probably the best camera phone I've used so far. You know. Uh, and another good thing is it takes 4k video uh, really good quality 4k video as well something iPhone can't even do right now uh, another good thing I would like about I would say about this phone is also is because uh, you know that the LG has LG knows that a lot of people are gonna have a hard time adjusting to the buttons at the back so they've made certain features like double tap the wake wake up the phone okay double tap to turn the phone off so they know that you know it's going to be an issue for some people and then you can just go to the notification panel you can adjust the volume settings from there too so you wouldn't literally never have to like touch the phone at the back you know to like do anything so it's 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 good that they understood that part and the op the software that they use they have used is is very good too i you i've used touchwiz absolutely garbage touchwiz is the worst android system right now even HTC and uh, is better than TouchWiz. Samsung TouchWiz is just totally cartoonish. Looks ugly in my opinion. Looks fake. Don't use that. Uh, I love LG Skin. It's professional. It looks nice, um, and you can use it literally. Um, you know, it's it's, it's you don't want to like when you when you see the LG Skin, you you wouldn't want to go back to like, um, you know. Go Android or you know any any of that stuff like you, you will you be fine with LG trust me like their skin is very professional and everything uh, the next thing I have seen some reviews and people have complained about the screen I don't understand why um, yes the phone does heat up and that was gonna be one of the you know the bad part points that I was gonna talk about the phone does kind of heat up sometimes but having said that uh, in my opinion the screen is gorgeous it's so sharp you can see the you can see that it's very very sharp and I don't like Samsung screens again like I you guys will think that I'm against Samsung phones no I'm not like I know I know Samsung has done some things in the past that are actually good um, like you know removable back and, and micro SD they were the first ones and I and I want to applaud them for you know taking that step um, but their Samsung screen in my opinion other than the dark blacks everything else looks absolutely fake like you look at the screen and it looks it looks off you know that you know samsung is is playing with people they're just popping out the colors so much on you that that you would think oh my god screen is gorgeous when it's not 
LCD screens is the way to go. Uh, Super Super AMOLED, no. Colors are fake. Um, they shine too much. They look fake. I don't I, I don't want to see that screen. In my opinion, iPhone 5S screen or the LG G3 screen, because LG also supplies the iPhone screens too. They make the best screens. Um, the text is very sharp. It, it, with this screen, the only thing is that you might have some problems seeing in the outdoors because it's not as bright as it could be. Um, so you know that I would I would say that's one of the flaws. But a lot of phones you can't see them outside anyways. You know because it's so dark, it's it's so bright in the sun, you have problems seeing the phone. Uh, so same with this phone too. It's not it's not I do find as difficult as other phones. Um, so yeah, some of the negative was that you know outdoor using sometimes I can't see properly. I have to like you know go in the shade or you know make sure that it's in the shade a little bit so I can see what's going on but the screen is absolutely marvelous it's so pretty it's so everything is like blues are blue greens are green white is like total white it's not like bluish white like samsung uh beautiful screen but you know outdoor visibility is kind of uh is 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 not good uh, they should they should have done something about the outdoor visibility to be made better uh it's slippery that's another you know con in my opinion because it does it does kind of slip the one thing I, I didn't talk about is the battery life. And I want to show you guys something. Um, I want to show you guys something too. Actually, talking about the Antutu benchmark I just did on my phone, um, I got I got a really good score, you know. Uh, my score actually was... Uh, let's see if they still have my score here. Um, yeah, no, but I remember my score being in 35,000s. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but... My score was around 35,000, which was which was excellent. The battery life, the battery life on this phone is also really good. Uh, I'm very impressed with the battery life. I used the uh, the battery. Uh, like, look at this thing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but 24 hours of use on my phone, and I'm literally I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but. And you know what, I apologize if you can, but uh, there's 24 hours of use on my phone right now, and I have 7% of battery still left. So the battery life is amazing, man. Like, I'm very, very impressed with the battery life. Um, you know, it's, it, to me, it, it gave me even better battery life than the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. Uh, what are some of the other cons? Like, I'm trying to think here, you know, but literally, like, other than the... Oh yeah, one con I would also say is, uh, for music, like listening to music out of headphones, I wish the music will go up a little bit more louder, because when I'm in the gym and I'm working out, I like to listen to really loud music, especially when I'm running on the treadmill, you know, I, I like listening to music loud, um, but you know, I wish the music go, uh, would go a little bit louder, I mean it's loud, but I would still want it to go louder, uh, like iPhone, iPhone music output is louder than this H, the LG G3 for sure. So is HTC, so is Samsung. Speaker at the back, very good speaker. Uh, there is nothing to worry about. It's very loud, it's very crisp, very clear. Um, I have noticed also that when I sometimes I take calls, there's a little bit of like uh, staticky noise on in the speaker grill. It's not that, it's not bad at all, Like, but I have noticed sometimes now, I don't know if it's my connection or if it's, you know, it just has to do with the network or the people that I'm talking to, but I've noticed it on a couple of calls. So I just hope that it's just my phone or it's just the network and it's not on every LG phone. But overall, man, I'm loving this phone. I'm loving the design. I love the gold color. You know, it looks it looks like a, like, you know, like a really uh, fancy phone, limited edition, you know, like not a lot of people have seen the, the gold phone. Like it's not available in Canada. So my... Uh, you know, my recommendation would be definitely, it's a phone you can definitely buy, a big screen, um, you know, all the apps are smooth, uh, so far I haven't had any hiccups, no app crashes or nothing, absolutely love the phone, no problems whatsoever, LG has definitely, you know, scored big time with this phone, um, yeah, like I was telling you also that the display does a little bit sometimes heat up, but it, it's not a major issue, I mean, they, they give you that warning and then when you don't use it, you're back up and running again. So anyways, guys, good luck and uh, take care. Bye.